Have we seen the story um, from the first the film? Um, and I love the game already. We tested also. So how much, how how much it's done with the game? Uh, well, we're we're well into production now, doing a lot of testing, doing a lot of polish. Uh, we're set for a spring 2011 release, which actually isn't that much time to polish a giant game like this. Uh, so it's very exciting, though. These are the days where there's new stuff to play every day, new stuff to show you guys, and. Uh, really the, the most exciting time of the production. So you play it a lot, I understand, to test it and see it? Absolutely. In fact, what we're doing right now a lot of the time is just playing all the time. Like, I will have weeks that that's basically all I do, which is not a bad job. <laughs> no. Uh, so the storytelling, I understand, uh, for the part I played was just in the beginning. It really catches me directly, and I wanted to know more and more. So will it be that for everything? Because everyone had something to say. Every person I met had something to say. Will it be that? Absolutely. In fact, not only is every character have full voiceover, incredibly well done, you have choices, you get your dark and light side choices, you get to decide everything you say, but there's a different story for every one of the classes. So the eight classes all have different stories, plus there's the world stuff, and there is no content that repeats on both sides. So if you decided today to play a smuggler, and you played the smuggler all the way through to the end, and then later you decided to go back and play a bounty hunter, and you started playing, you would see no repeated content, all 100% original. Oh, great, great. Um, there was uh, several classes. Uh, could you tell us a bit about the classes? Absolutely. So on the Republic side, we've got the smuggler, very much the Han Solo fantasy. He's quick, he's crazy. Uh, his story is a lot of things going wrong, of course, and dealing with the underworld. His play style is he's one of our cover classes, um, and he also uses a lot of cheap tricks. So uh, he will sucker punch someone in the back of the head. He will kick them in the uh, bad parts. Uh, shoot them when they're down, run away. Um, then you've got the trooper. The trooper is obviously very, very different. That's our big military class. You got a big gun, you've got explosives, you're blowing stuff up. And he's really got kind of a war story. So it really is about like, what, it, what would it be like to actually be doing the Star Wars part of it? Then you've got the two Jedi classes and we really separated the Jedi into the consular, who's sort of your older Obi-Wan Kenobi, your Qui-Gon Jinn. Uh, it's very much about using the force, about being calm, he's sort of the diplomat. And then you've got the Jedi Knight, which is much more the Mace Windu, Luke Skywalker, I got a lightsaber and I'm gonna use it. Uh, he's very much the action star. Uh, on the Imperial side, you've got the two Sith as well. You've got the Inquisitor, which is sort of the Palpatine Emperor. You can go very sort of crazy dark side of this of the Sith, or you can go more politics and try to sort of uh, maintain a good face. Then the Sith Warrior, which is very much our Vader character. You're big, you're strong, you're dominating, you're going to smash people. Uh, then we have the Bounty Hunter obviously based on the Boba Fett model, but inspired by a lot of the different bounty hunters. You've got a jet pack, you can fly up and punch people with it, you've got a flamethrower, you've got a ho hook, you remember from uh, like in Return of the Jedi, so you can shoot it out, catch people and bring them in, and then uppercut them with your flamethrower. So it's all very fun stuff. Then you've got the Imperial Agent, which is the cover class on that side. That's sort of our spy, he's our SS agent, sort of like, uh, and he's got a sniper rifle. He gets undercover, he can, it's really a very different sort of play style because you can kill somebody in exactly the same speed as someone else, but you might do it in one shot and all of the rest of your play might be set up. Okay, nice. Yeah, great. Um, also, I saw a bit of a meter that where you can see or if you are good or bad. Uh -huh. So it will depends also the, what, your, what your answer or... Absolutely. So we, we definitely separated out morality and faction. So just because you're born on the Imperial side and you become a Sith doesn't mean you're a bad person. So through the decisions you make in the game, you can go light side or you can go dark side, very much like in uh, the previous Knights of the Old Republic. So you can absolutely be a good Sith, you can absolutely be a bad Jedi. Great. Yeah, looking forward to it for the whole game. And I think I will thank you for this and Absolutely. great to see you. And uh, yeah, we're waiting for the game. Enjoy the show. Good luck.